Hello guys, this video show how you can use the pipe tool to create some amazing details very quickly. And real quick guys, if you're interested in learning plasticity, I've got a new course on Udemy. Link is in the description, it's the first one there. I've got tree cutting mechs, I've got SMGs, I've got dark energy swords, I've got spider drones, and much more content on the way. There's about 30 hours of content right now and more is being added weekly. So before I show you on these objects, let's do a more simple box right here just to show you the basics. We'll create a box like so. It's very simple, guys. You select an edge or a group of edges or a curve. You simply press P. Now, it's very small right now. So let's take a look at the options here. We have the uh, thickness right here. So I can make it 25, for example. And you can see what it's doing by default is it's subtracting. And just like when you're using Boolean, guys, you can actually change this. You can, you can be a, a Q for union, you know, W for distance, Shift Q for slice, uh, Shift E for intersection. We can press B to make it a new body, which is actually useful if you just want like a new object right here very quickly. So let's press W for the default difference. All right, so we've got the uh, section size. So I can simply make that a five, for example. As you can see, that kind of gives us thickness like this. So actually, by default, we can actually turn the thickness off and just use the section size. As you can see, it just kind of... Uh, enlarges it or makes it smaller. What thickness I actually do is it's like giving a little bit of a shell. So it's not going to subtract everything, just just what's inside right here. So as we make the thickness larger, you can see how we're taking away more and more. All right, and we can just make the uh, thickness back to zero. It's going to subtract the whole thing now. All right, so angle is not visible with the default. But if we change the vertex count, angle will become important. So by default, vertex count is set to zero, which means it's going to be a perfect uh, circle right here. But if you set it to be three, for example, it'll be a triangle. Four becomes a box. Five, you know, pentagon. Six, hexagon, and so on and so forth. So if you set it to be three, for example, now when we change the angle, you can see it actually uh, has an impact. So as you can see, we can quickly slice things off like this. Of course, using chamfer would be faster in doing this, but this is very useful kind of slicing in and creating kind of these kinds of intricate panel line details using this. All right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and make it uh, a box. Let's increase the section size. All right, let's right click to confirm that. So that gives us something to keep continuing playing around with. All right, we can then, for example, select this, press P again. Let's increase the section size. All right, so we can quickly subtract things like this. But there's a problem here, guys. You can see it's trying to create this, but the problem is it's not going far enough right here, which means if you right-click to confirm, uh, we have this kind of a strange detail right here. So we perhaps can select this and kind of just do that. But what we can also do is uh, undo that and this time we'll press P, we'll have the same section size, but we'll just, um, we'll press B to make it a new body. We can then select this, offset that a little bit, and offset this a little bit as well. And perhaps uh, fill out this beforehand. All right, and now we can Q for Boolean like so. So guys, this opens up some cool possibilities of how we can design things. All right, so now I will show you on these objects right here. So for example, right here, get this uh, detail here. We can press P for that. Let's increase the section size, set it to be maybe a three. I want to press B for a new body because I want to go ahead and select these and offset them further and subtract that. As you can see, we now get this really cool detail right here. Looks a little bit strange right here, but you know, you can always play around with that and offset that to get rid of that. Yeah, so we can just use offset. Let's just these powerful offset. Or of course, before Boolean, we can play around more with the, with the original pipe. But as you can see guys, it creates really cool details like so, which we can then continue working with.
All right, so we've got that very easily. Uh, let's do something a little bit more advanced with this, for example. So let's select this. I'm gonna hold shift to add these curves. All right, and I'll press P. Let's increase the section size. You know, the more complex your object, the more time it will take to preview. I'm just gonna go ahead and right click that. And just like that, guys, you can get really cool kind of like panel line details and kind of these uh, pipe details going through here. So what I can do here, for example, is I can, you know, create like a custom outline here. And I've got that, for example. I can select this, press C and select that to cut that. I will isolate this and I will select this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's say select this very quickly. I'm going to hold uh, control 2 to convert to the borders. Deselect what I don't want right here. Right, and I'll press P to make that a pipe. Increase the section size. And I'll press B for a new body. As you can see guys, even without any kind of boolean, it still is a nice way to get these kinds of nice, you know, details right here. All right, I will select the top faces and I will offset a little bit more. I will recombine these together, pressing Q, Q, and now I'll hold shift to select that and press Q. As you can see, we now have this detail running through the object. So it's a very nice technique to get these kinds of details, guys. So that is the pipe tool. I hope you can find some good uses for it to create these cool details. Thank you for watching and take care.